So in today's video, which is Make It Monday, seems like it's been forever since I've been down here in my craft studio. I've been doing other things, but today's video is going to be extremely, extremely easy. I'm going to show you how to make this container that I got from Miss Becky McDaniel in my uh, the box that she sent to me. It was uh, just a, a plastic uh, container, some succulents, and this little house box, scrapbook paper, and a little wreath, and some uh, rubbing buff. Very simple, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, it's a trifle container. I took the label off and I washed it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat of white spray paint. Let's give this about 30 minutes and then I'll put another coat on it. Now that this is painted, I'm going to take this metal ribbon and I'm going to place it around just like so. So let me go ahead and measure this. Cut it. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take my hot glue gun and I am going to put a dot of hot glue, a couple of dots, right in the center of these little things. And let's place it right here. All right, now let's continue all the way around. Just placing it in the center of all of these dots. Trying to keep it straight as you can. See what it's looking like? Then the end. Okay, now let's place this. Now. That's what it looks like. Now what I'm gonna do, this is very, very, very simple, is I need to put some styrofoam inside my container. Let me get some more styrofoam. Let's go ahead and cut off some pieces of styrofoam. Put inside there to put my succulents in. Let's cut pieces off. So they'll fit in. Get this middle piece off. Got to trim, trim, trim. I'm going to be putting some um, rocks on this. There is my styrofoam. Let's go ahead and cut some wire. And let's just stick these succulents down inside it. 
just however we want it to be. These aren't succulents, but I think I'm gonna place these down in here as well. Cut this one off. a little bit of hot glue on this one just to make sure it sticks and this one Stick some greenery in here. Until it looks like this. Now, I have these rocks right here. So let's go ahead Put these rocks in here. I think I'll hot glue a few of them just to make sure they don't fall. Because everyone knows succulents grow in the desert where there's rocks and sand. So let's go ahead and put some of this rock in here. You know, there's lots and lots of things that you can make out of these little containers. This happens to be the container that was sent to me by that sweet viewer, Becky McDaniel. So I thought I'd go ahead and start trying to make some crafts and see what I could come up with. So this one goes out to you, Becky. I've still got lots of other things to create as well. But this is just the first thing I thought of. And like I say, these are just my ideas. Feel free to make any project you want. And there you have it. A planter. Made out of a plastic pedestal container. I can't remember what it said it was. There's that one. Now, I have a, another project. This one is going to be pretty simple as well. As I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and I came across these metallic paper, papers. There's like a blue with gold, a gold. That color, that one, this one, this one, and this one. I also have this little house right here that I got at Goodwill the other day. And I think I'm going to take one of these. And we'll see if this will fit inside it. So, let me put my hot glue gun up. Get my Mod Podge. Decide which one I want. I'm thinking this one because I think this would look, let's 
see. Let me check this out and see which one I think would look better. I think I'll do this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to see which way the flowers go. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this here and I'm going to turn you all down so you can see, excuse my mess on my table, but Now, don't know if you can see that or not, but it has a mark. You may have to do some trimming. So let's go ahead and get this trimmed. see how much I need to cut off of this. Okay. Go ahead and Bit of trim. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to go ahead and put some of this inside. go. Suggest it. Get it in there. Adjust it. Smooth it down. Something to smooth it down with. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take Rub and Buff and I am going to go along the edge. Sometimes, like I've said, sometimes your fingers work the best.
try not to get it on the the sides or the inside, just the edge. See, that's what it looks like. This inside here. Let's see what it, what that looks like. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue around this so it will stick. Find where I want to place it and just press it. Okay. And there you have it. Suggest so some of this green room just a bit. Now, there you have it. It looks like there's a little space right there. I'm gonna see what I can find that I can put on that. And there you have it. Just a, a box, a piece of scrapbook paper, and a little wreath. That's all it took. So, we made two very, very, very simple projects today. A succulent planter and a piece of uh, decor. I don't I got this at Goodwill. It could have come from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. Um, I do know that um, the uh, little wreaths came from uh, Goodwill as well. The succulents come from Goodwill. Uh, the rock come from the Goodwill bins. And the um, metal ribbon come from Dollar Tree as well. So, like I said, two very, very very easy projects. So, so give these a try. See what you can come up with these little containers and these little boxes. Sky's the limit. I'm so glad you all come in today to join me. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Uh, comment down below with things you'd like to see me try. Like I said, this came in my viewer box that she sent to me. Uh, Miss Becky, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. So until next time, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification button, and to share my video. It really, really helps me out. Uh, 
I'm knocking on 5,000 subscribers now, and I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. I love you with all my heart.